Yo, what's good, everybody? We're here today to talk about uh, some stuff going on in the SNK community, specifically Cable 15 community. Uh, June 2nd, around 9.30 a.m., Yasuyuki Oda, aka the producer for Cable 15 and also the producer for Fatal Fury, State of the Wolves, coming out early next year. He made a tweet. He made a single tweet that just sent the community on fire into a frenzy of speculation. People got their tinfoil hats on. People are saying, yo, we're so back. And what I'm referring to is season three, possibly. So yeah, like I said, June 2nd, he randomly just made a tweet with the k 15 cup of art. Just suppose just for no reason appears, you know, it just was the cover art, no words, no context, nothing. And it just had everybody mad confused. So. How does this connect to season three that people have been speculating and hoping for since season two ended? Well, we need to give context. So season two ended back in winter 2023, consisting of Shingo, Kim, Sylvie, Gonitz, Naj, Duolon, and finally Hinako. Since then, there hasn't been any major updates as far as stages or new deals and characters, really just been minor character patches here and there and the invest strike update which was around a month or so before SWC. Now let me just say that overall this was a dope season and the characters were dope. Everybody enjoyed them. People loved Kim. It was nice seeing Shingo. Sylvie made a return. Naj made a return so we got some more Cable 14 characters. Gonitz was the for the boss rush the boss battle stage. He was cool. It was fun doing that. Duel on looked sick and Finally, we got Hinako, and it was nice to see her come back as well. So overall, I would say if I had to give a letter grade to season two, I would say a B, a nice B plus, you know, depending on how much you enjoy these characters. Me personally, I'm not hyper attached to each of them. I do like doing on the most out of those, but overall, it was it was cool. It was a nice season. But since then, you know, there hasn't been much of anything. It's been kind of radio silence on a season three and people just been wondering yo like are we getting a season three now me personally based off what i said about the tweet i feel this is a hint for what's to come remember this is the 30th anniversary of the kof series so it would shock me to see no type of major celebration for such a series um and then also if we look at everything that's happened up to this point snk and arika have been working together on the library of games SNK has. Uh, SNK has been opening offices left and right across Asia, uh, new buildings and whatnot. They've been aggressively hiring people, putting out notices and tweets and stuff, uh, trying to get more people into the company, people that work on models and programming and everything in between and outside of that. And also, like I said, it's the 30th anniversary, not to mention during SWC this year, after they finished the grand finals and they were up there talking and whatnot, uh, someone yelled out season three and Oda, instead of just saying no, looked at them, winked and smiled, did a little smirk and put his finger up to the lips like, like shush, like, like, like he, he, like, he didn't want to speak on it. So you, it, you, you can't tell me like he don't know something, you know, like all signs point towards there being something done for 15. Now granted, I'm not expecting nothing crazy for season three, like a ton of characters or a bunch of stages and stuff, but I do think season three is happening. I do think it makes sense that a majority of people feel that a season three is coming. It just, again, makes no sense for them not to do one. What I expect from a season three is I expect them to do a team of characters, maybe, maybe two teams if I'm gonna be greedy, but I would say I would hope they do like three characters and a new stage or two teams. But I feel more so on the side of them just doing a single team and a stage. And as far as who those characters can be, I really don't know. I do know one of them has to be uh, Shin Wu. Shin Wu has to be. Shinwoo <laughs> Shin has to come back, okay? Shinwoo has to be here. We have Duolon, Elizabeth, and Ash, all right? You have to bring Shinwoo back. You just have to. People have been asking him since the jump for Shinwoo, okay? So you have to play him in season three. 
um i would like for mature to come back but in order to have mature you have to have vice and as much as i love mature i feel like it would it, it wouldn't make sense just to bring those two back for the final season unless they do like a bunch of characters which i don't think so i would be just satisfied with shinwoo coming back and people have whatever other characters they want i'm i'm cool i'm fine you know it, it is what it is so i do hope that happens i hope that you know they do bring in a new stage because a lot of the, the gripes people have had in the community and i've had myself is the lack of uh support in the way of dlc such as costumes and stages so i would feel like bringing in a stage or two you know maybe two would be nice uh would be fire for the community um as we prepare for city of the wolves which again comes out early next year but i think it just makes sense i think the timeline if at summer's games fest at the time of this recording it's the 5th of june and summer games fest is the 7th uh this friday and again he made that tweet a couple days prior the same week as summer games fest so it leads us to believe that snk is going to show something just besides cd wolves at the festival and if they reveal something a new season then they could release the characters or at least lead up the hype into evo and then so on and so forth release the characters for the rest of the year and that will help build up um not just hype for city of the wolves but garner momentum going into swc as well next year um because we have evo and because we have other tournaments that will be qualifiers uh for said tournament the championships um as the rest of the year goes on so it's two birds with one stone again them working with arika um arika helped bandai with tekken 7 and 8 with the infrastructure and the online and stuff is that so i love the fact that Rika and snk are working together again because you don't know snk lent terry over to fighting ex layer and you know i ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go too much into that i'm gonna just leave that alone because i got an idea for a video i want to spoil that nah, i still gotta work on that but yeah they got that going for them them opening new offices them talking about one to revamp the cave of verse as far as uh its presence in the medias like manga, anime, um, movies, things like that. Uh, them SNK wanted to expand other games and such. Again, the offices and new locations. Uh, just really an overhaul at SNK. And I feel like doing a season three would just add on to that and make sense for what they've been doing. So again, I understand, you know, people have been spectacle. People have probably been saying, you know, y'all are puffing copium, hopium, all of that, you know, the works, you know, you're high for thinking there's a season three, but I'm telling you, you know, I think there's going to be a season three. This is my thoughts. This is how I feel. It just makes sense. Like, it, it just makes sense. You know, it, it just will be insane. A 30th anniversary for such a, a illustrious franchise, a historical franchise that has such an impact in gaming. I mean, Goddamn, CBS 2, CBS 1, S SBC Chaos, regardless of like that, these are historical games. These characters, like, there's no way you can't celebrate that in some way, shape, or form, or just go on notice. Like, they haven't really done much in a way to really celebrate the 30th anniversary, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this video was just me giving my thoughts, just letting it all blur out my mouth, out my brain, what I've been thinking about. But as always, let me know what you think down below. Am I just yapping? Do you think there'll be a season three? Do you agree with me? Uh, how are you feeling? You know, are you doubtful, hopeful? And let me know what you think of KOF 15 up to this point. What are your overall thoughts with the game? But overall, through the trials and tribulations, I think this was a great game. And I'm curious to see where SNK goes from here on for it. But yeah, as always, I appreciate y'all. And all of this wouldn't be made possible. Unless it was thanks to viewers like you. Thank you. Peace.